What's up, Technology family? Welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. Today, we got some more news announcements for you guys and updates for you guys today. So, uh, with further than that, let's get straight on to it. As you already know, we finally got a new and a third time uh, of revision schedule for Tenant. And they have a new uh, strategy as it's going. So, Tenant will open internationally in over 50 countries starting on August 26th and in select U.S. city and select theaters beginning September 3rd. Now, I think that's a real uh, good, good strategy because uh, I, uh, uh, in this particular movie, it'll definitely make a lot of money in the, in the overseas and in uh, other countries. So, and, and that's a real uh, uh, good, good start for a good start for tenant. And then by the time the um, if the, the U.S. Uh, U, uh, theaters by open by mid mid August, we should have get some money over there as well. But I like the idea of what they are going with that, so that's uh, that's pretty good. And further than that, let's get to our next one. Um, so we already know that Universal is trying to build a, a new theme park called Epic Universe, but we're gonna have to wait a little longer because they have paused the construction due to the COVID-19 that's going on. So, they were supposed to open in 2023. Now, we might have to wait till 2024. That's if they don't uh, re release the park at any time on schedule in 2023. But the only time to tell, uh, like, uh, with, the, uh, with the, uh, the construction company they have working on, if they be able to make it, we can. But if they can't, then uh, uh, 2024 will definitely be that year to open. So, other than that, next uh, one is um, Universal at AMC Theaters finally made peace and will crunch theater windows up to 17 days with option for PVOD uh, release after. So, the way I think about it is that certain Universal movies like No Time to Die, uh, the upcoming Fast and Furious uh, 9, uh, the Jurassic Park movies, uh, uh, the uh, the the minions the pick of me I think those type of movies should be the ones that kept in theaters all the other low, low budget or like uh type of universal movies they I think that can go to uh the PBOD I think that's a good strategy as far as uh, uh we're, we're releasing the movies like uh, leave all the big the big budget movies into the theaters first and have them like a, a three three like a three week uh, uh theater window. Before putting on PBOD and DVD, and then also for the um, for the low budget ones, they that you can release that uh, on theaters at the same day and uh, stuff. Like that. So I think that's a good strategy as for that. But I'm glad A and C Universal made made peace for that. that. That's pretty good. So well, further than that, that uh, I get to our next one. So the primetime Emmys will be on September 20th. But it will be but it will be virtually, and will be hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. There's a there, there's a lot of um nominations going on. So um, Watchmen has 11, 11 nominations. Succession had ten, and August has nine. So there's a lot of shows there I watch it. It's pretty good, and there's some I really want them to win. And then there's also uh some shows that I had some some friends of uh. That went to full sale, to, uh, but that worked on, so I wanted them to, to be watched. But there's a lot of competition, so we'll see how uh, how, they, uh, how it goes from there. But other than that, that's my news and announcements and updates for you guys. Let me know in the comment section uh, what you think about that. And um, also let me know who, um, who you think is going to win the Emmys. Uh, let, let me know in the comment section uh, for, for that one. And don't forget to like. Share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell where new uh, videos are uploaded. Other than that, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.